Hello girlies, girly, girly, girlies. Hello Penelope. <laughs> Penelope. Hello. You snuggling sissy. I know, she's very loud today. Oh, now she's tired. Hi everybody, good morning. I'm gonna start the vlog today. It's actually Monday. I did have plans to start this over the weekend. I said in my day in the life last week, but I didn't because <laughs> there's a reason for it. Um, Saturday, all I did was food shop which I was going to haul for you, but there isn't a huge amount in there because we're doing HelloFresh again this week. So I thought I would show you that um, today, the three meals that we've got. Um, and then maybe I can like share those with you. And so I went food shopping and then Tom had a bit of a funny turn then on Saturday. So he basically, basically then spent the rest of the day just kind of like led down and we didn't do very much. Uh, and then yesterday we went to... Cabot Circus which was um like a belated birthday meal for my birthday last week so I didn't do it actually on my birthday because I could see Tom was really tired because he did go back to work last week um I'm gonna put you here a minute I don't know if that's gonna affect so there it saves my arm yeah so um we went out for my birthday meal yesterday we went to ZZ's it was really lovely I spotted um when I was at Cabot with you wasn't it Darcy the week before I went down when I um, filmed my Primark call, I think last, not last week, the week before, I went down with Darcy and my mum and left Penny at home. And we walked past Easy's and on their board outside, because they're obviously promoting for Veganuary, they had a rainbow lasagna and it looked amazing. So I said to Darcy and she must have mentioned it to Tom, so he booked that. And if you've not been to Easy's, I highly recommend the rainbow lasagna and I also signed up for a taste card which I think I did a few years ago but they had like a 90 day offer at the moment so you don't pay anything for the first 90 days and then I ended up getting the meals so cheap like for all four of us because the pen is not eating yet it come to 29 pounds with the drinks so I was well chuffed with that and um I may or may not have gone you you guessed it into Primark again like this is a problem so I went in there purely because let me get them a second. Um, if you haven't seen my Primark haul, you won't have any idea what I'm talking about. But I bought myself some pyjamas from the wellness section for Tom to give me for my birthday. And I got the small because it said that they were... Hang on. I think the small in Primark is a 10 to 12. I'm pretty sure it was. I wouldn't have got them otherwise. Let's have a look. Yeah, so a small in Primark is 10 to 12. And I got them off and I thought, yeah, you know, they look like... They look nice and roomy because i don't like to wear pajamas that are tight anyway i slipped them on and the legs are too tight on me but so i was going to take them back and swap them for a medium which would be a 12 to 14. um oh <laughs> can you hear penny but i completely have lost the receipt so i couldn't change them so i figured i would just keep them and then i was going to rebuy them and i thought there's no point in having two pairs of the same pajamas I've got pyjamas at the moment, so I'm just going to keep these um, because obviously I am now on my postpartum weight loss journey. Um, so yeah, in the hopes that these eventually fit me. I mean, they do fit me, but the legs are just a bit too tight, so they're not very comfortable. And to be honest, I probably would rip them if I bent down. So yeah, obviously I couldn't go into Primark and just not get anything. And they've got some amazing bits. So I thought rather than do a whole separate Primark haul, I'll include it in this vlog. I don't know, that might or might not work out okay, but I'll do that when I get back from the school run. So it's currently almost 20 past eight in the morning. I'm just having my coffee. Tom made it before he left for work. Darcy needs to finish getting ready because she's just, look at her. She's just living her best life there in the background. Are you watching TikTok, Darcy? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Ollie isn't going to school today because he's got such an awful cough. His chest is playing up again. Um, I don't know if I vlogged before Christmas, but he basically ended up on like two lots of antibiotics consecutively over like a four week period. Um, it was really, really bad. So I'm, he's staying home today, um, just for obvious reasons. He was up basically like all night. So I'm shattered. It's not like 
penny keeping me up it's ollie so yeah i thought i would just come on start the vlog before i head out on the school run i am gonna try and film today hopefully i was gonna do my morning routine but obviously with ollie keeping me up that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow or maybe wednesday so i'm actually because mornings are not my vibe um and it was less of my vibe today so i'm either gonna try and film my evening routine tonight or i might do that tomorrow because i do have ballet and we do have quite a lot of like activities that the kids need to go to so that's like a true reflection of an evening routine um so yeah i might do that tonight or tomorrow but i do want to film when penny goes down for her nap um i do want to film like a nap time speed clean because that is typically during the week when i get a lot of my cleaning done um just to show you like how i keep on top of it rather than do like a big deep clean like i was doing on my channel it's kind of like changed since i've got like the baby so i have i can't i haven't got hours to spend like cleaning my whole house so i do like little and often um every day and yeah i'll probably include a little snippet of my workout I do, obviously i can't go and do a peloton today so i'll probably have to either wait until tom's home or i'll have to do one of my um workouts from my little programs that i'm doing which i'll talk more about that when i'm home but yeah i'm gonna go and get darcy ready for school and then I'll check back in with you when I'm back from the school run. Hey everyone, so I'm back from the school run now. It's actually just gone 10. So Penny's actually just asleep there on the sofa. Don't sit on her, okay, Ollie? Okay. Um, and like I said, Ollie is home. We've just given him some medicine just to try and help his chest because your throat's sore, isn't it, with it? Yeah. So I'm actually going to film in a second um, my, like speed clean of what i do when pen is napping i bet you she wakes up now um and then i'm going to try and get a workout in and then when tom's home i'll try and go around and do a peloton but i wanted to really quickly show you what i picked up in primark okay so first up i picked up this little set it was nine pound i got it in three to six it's kind of like just this fleecy top and on the pocket there it says always be kind and it has leggings with it and I just thought those two colors look so lovely together and it's perfect for this time of year because it has been quite cold recently so obviously this is just giving her like that extra warmth in a top and she'll have a vest on underneath and then I also picked up this jacket for her so I wanted something because when she's in her car seat obviously she doesn't wear her pram suit and sometimes it's quite fiddly to get her in a pram suit while we're in the car when we've arrived at our destination. So I thought this would be easier to put on and it's quite thick. So it is a jacket. Um, this one was eight pound. I got it in three to six. But I do just love the contrast between the Borg and then the kind of like pipe in here. Um, it doesn't have a hood, which is fine. because obviously she wears a hat quite a lot of the time, but I did just think that was lovely. And it is also lined inside. So it's very, very thick. And that color is just beautiful, isn't it? So that was the other bit um, I picked up for her. I did also grab her a cardigan in three to six. It's just plain beige. Um, I do just like how the buttons kind of like go to the side. Um, and again, it was seven pound and it's got the hood. Yeah, I'm gonna show you that in a second. Let me just do Penny's summer costume. And then I did pick her up this summer costume. It was four pound 50. This one I got in nine to 12 months. Um, which is like over our summer time because I have been looking at holidays and obviously we'll probably, well hopefully we'll have the pull out. Um, but yeah, £4.50 and it's just the most adorable pattern ever. And then did we show that? And then we got this PlayStation jumper. We got the PlayStation logo here. And we got this little thing on the arm, which is PlayStation. Are you obsessed with PlayStation? Yeah. Why don't you show them your pyjamas you've got on? You probably saw these in one of my other haul, but he's obsessed with PlayStation. So he wanted me to pick this jumper up for him. It was £12 and it was the most plain one I could find, um, but it's it is white. Amazing, yeah. So, but he's obsessed with it. So you going to go take that and hang it up in your room? I'm going to wear it. Okay, go wear it then. <laughs> um, and then I picked up just this little underwear set for myself. It was £5. Um, I wear these all the time um obviously not while i was pregnant because it didn't fit um but they have them in so many different colors so i just got this nude color um yeah just comfort is key so i had to pick that up and then i did pick up 
quite a few pairs of these so um it's just the seamless cycling shorts so they're ribbed i don't know i'm sat in front of the window so i don't know if the light is kind of there you go so it's ribbed and they're really thick so they don't have any stitching on any seams um three pound fifty these are small i wanted the medium but i couldn't see a medium in the black so i did just pick up the small but i mean i don't know if they're going to fit me to be honest um and then i also picked up the two extra small for darcy because the kids ones were four pound fifty and they weren't as thick as this and these are only three fifty so they fit her perfectly um because they're ribbed the they are so tight um, which is why i wanted the medium because i figured if they're not really really tight on me they're less likely to be see-through i'm planning on wearing like a long t-shirt with it but um yeah i just picked them up now because i know they probably won't be around um when it comes to summer time so i got those for darcy and then i also got them in this nude color so i love these because they're not really light um this is kind of like a really true reflection of the color again they're three pound fifty so this is the ones for darcy and then i did manage to get a medium um in this size so this is kind of like perfect for me so i will when i go down again i will see if they've got a medium in the black um just because i feel like it will be a bit more comfortable and won't dig into me but yeah three pound fifty i just didn't think you could go wrong for that price total bargain and then while i was down there i did just run into h&m because i've got my eye on this t-shirt that is completely sold out online and i figured i might be lucky like i was with my jacket and get it in store but i couldn't see it um oh i don't know penny's waking up but i did grab a few bits for penny i got her this pack of tights which she has got in a smaller size um but she probably won't be in that for much longer and again these always sell out online so it's got cream power and then just the kind of like bisky color um and they're 5.99 i got her the size two to six months then i spotted this three pack of shorts in the cell so i grabbed six to nine months they were four pound um i just come a bit closer because the kind of light from outside is washing them out so it's this lovely like flower detail on this pair and then this really lovely blue color she doesn't have anything in this color so i thought it'd be really cute with like a frilly vest or a little shirt and they're obviously really soft and elasticated so they'll be really comfortable on her and then the final pair is just this really lovely pink and it's kind of got the like detail in the material so i love those and then i spotted this little kind of romper set so she can wear this so with a top underneath or just like this so i got it in four to six months but it is huge so it's not going to fit her at the moment um it was 7.99 but just look at the color and the detail on it i love it so much and they did also have a legging and a top set with like a little turban to match in this print but they didn't have her size they only had really big sizes or really small sizes so i'm gonna have a little look online and see if i can order it because that color green i'm just obsessed with and it really suits her and it brings out her eyes because her eyes are like really blue she's got my color eyes um so yeah that was my shopping trip yesterday now what i'm gonna do is i am gonna either give her another bottle if she's up um and then i will put her in her bedroom for a nap and then i'm gonna do just run around and get my jobs done before i do my little workout so i'll catch up with you in a little bit good morning guys so today is Wednesday so I last spoke to you on Monday and I didn't come on again yesterday because I had um I explained on Monday I had Ollie I had Ollie home I can't even speak this morning I've not had my coffee just excuse me <laughs> I need the caffeine to kick in um yes yeah, so I had Ollie home poorly on Monday and he was actually home poorly yesterday um he gets like reoccurring chest infections um obviously we tested him for the good old i'm not even saying the word because i'm just done with it um but yeah it wasn't that it's his chest infections he's actually had a weakness on his chest since he was about um well he got poorly when he was about three weeks old he just caught a cold um because he was born in september as well but his and penna's birthday is a week apart um and yeah he just couldn't shift this cold um and then it went onto his chest and he ended up with bronchitis and he was in hospital for a couple of days i think it was and the doctor said to me then he said he's probably always going to have a weakness on his chest because he was really young when he developed bronchitis um 
and do you know what he actually has so touch wood um I was really worried about Penny because she was born in September and obviously she was quite young over the winter months I was really worried about her and I was kind of like preparing myself for the same thing that happened to Ollie but she touch wood she's been fine she gets she's actually got a bit of a sniffle at the moment obviously because Ollie's been poorly it's not developed into anything at all other than a bit of a runny nose um whereas Ollie actually sounds like he smokes sounds awful so we've been doing this inhaler he hasn't needed antibiotics this time though which is good um because the time before christmas he did need antibiotics he was really really poorly um so yeah he's gone back to school today and i've got a bit of peace in my life bless him i do miss him when he's at school and i miss darcy but do you know when you just get those five minutes i said this on my instagram story the other day because penny's actually in her car seat i've just moved her into the front room so she always falls to sleep um after the school run usually i would say nine times ten times she'll fall asleep and then she'll wake up at half past 10 11 for a bottle and then she'll have that she'll be up for a little bit and then she'll go down for a big sleep then as well so i usually have like some peace so i just sort of stand here and look around and i'm like oh just this sound just savoring the sound <laughs> my house is so chaotic but yeah I was going to film, I think I said this, I was going to film an evening routine, but I didn't yesterday because I have had, I know I mentioned this way back last year on my vlog, so if you missed that, you won't have any idea what I'm talking about. Sorry, I've just been to Aldi, so I've got shopping right on my feet and I will trip over. So back last year when I was pregnant, I had, um, which they treated me for chest infections. I'm just going to put my phone on silent. Yeah, they treated me for chest infections because the um, COVID swabs were always negative. Um... And it was like a typical chest infection, but I mean, I had four last year and I know I was pregnant, so my immune system was down. So they would prescribe me amoxicillin. Now I've never had an issue with any um, antibiotics before in my life, but I started getting um, like a rash on my chin. First of all, I just thought it was me breaking out. But when I say a rash, it looks like white pimples and there's not just the odd one that you might get when it's like your time of the month or whatever. I mean, it was hundreds. And so I started to notice a pattern that it was happening on like day three or four of these antibiotics. And when I went to the dentist last week, I said this, she's given me antibiotics and silly old me didn't twig in my head that it's amoxicillin. And you can probably see, look at what I'm dealing with. Yeah, that's white, that's the spots. So I've literally been walking around with a scarf like this. Obviously I can't wear any makeup because, oh. So uh, luckily I've stopped taking them anyway because it's only a five day course and yeah, just note to self, you cannot take amoxicillin. So random how you just randomly develop like a reaction towards something. But yeah, nowhere else on my body. So I read online that you can get it like across your chest and your back. I get it nowhere else, literally just my chin. So it's like, hello, how are you today? Look at my chin. Like you can't escape it. Um, but yeah, I was just in... The lady in Audi thought it was because of my mask wearing that I had it, so I just went along with that. I just said, yes, it's just because of the mask. Because oh, It is very difficult to wear a mask, I find. I, I like struggle to breathe and then I feel all wet on my skin and oh yeah, I'm just not, not a fan. But I did just go into Audi. Oh my goodness, I needed this. This sweetener that I got, I think I shared, I know I talked about it on my Instagram, but I picked it up in HomeSense. Um, and when I've tracked it through my fitness pack, so I'm just keeping an eye on my calories um, that I take, not doing any kind of like diet other than just keeping an eye on my calories. This is like, it does say zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs, but sometimes labels lie. So I did scan it through the app and literally it has nothing in it. And I'm not just saying it, it is like the best syrup I've ever had in my coffee. So nice. Um, but yeah, I went into Aldi because I needed to get some bananas, etc. for my smoothie and we didn't have any kitchen paper and it really bothers me I know I don't use it a lot but when I haven't got it I look, look there and I think oh he looks a bit naked my little holder so I went and got another kitchen paper you know the exciting morning of Emma over here but I've been after this I feel like it's my birthday all over again I've been after this <laughs> for so long that you're probably gonna be like what are you on about you've got a blender because I obviously do have my um ninja blender in the cupboard like but that's a big piece of equipment like I love it but I saw this in the Audi book do you, when you pick up the Audi book, it's like I save it. I don't have a quick flick through, I save it. And then I have my coffee and then I sit on the sofa and flick through my book. Like there is something about 
flickers with the Audi catalog or not catalog like brochure and do you know the funny thing I'm going off on a tangent now but we were saying when my mum and dad Audi opened I think when I was in I think secondary school or like I might have been in year six of primary school and if they came back and I'd known they've done their food shopping in Audi, I would be mortified. And I'd be like, please, can you just do your shopping in Asda? We can't go to Audi. And now, like, I love nothing better than to have a little mood to rank Audi. Like, how times have changed. Um, yeah, anyway, tangent over. I saw in the book the portable blender that they had. And I kept, I mean, this was like at the start of January. Kept going in. It was always delayed. And I went in there this morning and I was like, my little eyes lit up. I was like, do, 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 do. That is my blender. They had it in loads of colours, but I went with grey. So basically, it's a portable blender and it charges by USB. You get the lead and everything. Um, it's got a three hour charge time. It's got a little carry handle. I mean, I'm literally trying to sell you this. and you. It was £10 and I feel like I need it because it's portable. <laughs> I mean, I obviously didn't need it, but I used my birthday money, so it's okay. Um, yeah, so I just, I picked up my blender, so I'm well happy, it's put me in a happy mood today. Because I'm thinking that when I do my smoothies in my big, this is my reasoning, when I do my smoothies in my big blender, I feel like I might make a bit too much, whereas this is like, going to be the perfect amount, because like, obviously, no, um, you just bought something because you didn't need it, but I did, I wanted it. So yeah, blender and Aldi portable, if you don't have anything like that and you want to make smoothies or whatever go to Aldi. Also I picked up, I grabbed one of these the other week, um, they've got like a really good plant-based or vegan vegetarian section now and I picked up um, a Thai green inspired curry the other week and it's really nice. Their dates aren't very long on them, that's the only thing I would say, their dates are a bit terrible, um, this is only a date for three days but it's football night for Ollie tomorrow and also Friday but I'm out on Friday as well so I figured if I if we don't make one of our hello freshes i can make that for myself for my tea but um i'm gonna make hello fresh with you tonight so last night we had let me get the card so this is week two of us doing hello fresh um i've got a link in my description if you want to try it for money off i know they've always got deals like i always see so have a look around but i do have a link um, down below I think it's like £46 off which is basically like a free box depending on how many meals because we get three meals a week and ours come to £26.99 and then deliveries on top so depending on how many meals you want to get um, it could be like potentially a week free um, but yeah last night we had roasted pepper and aubergine linguine and it was amazing so it was one of the rapid meals 20 minutes it didn't take long at all and it had 621 calories which wasn't bad considering it's a pasta dish um because when we did one last week i can't remember what it was now but when i looked it after it was like 980 calories and i was like sorry what i can't be having that that's like a that's a saturday night tea um yeah so i'm really loving it so tonight we've either got um what have we got we've got some kind of like mushroom on a nan thing and I think some rice dish. So I'll decide throughout the day which one I'm going to do. And I'll cook that with you because I promised it last week and I didn't. And then obviously I can do a taste test with you. Um, yeah, but so far so good. So I'm just going to... That was really bad. I am just going to <laughs> unload my shopping. I'll show you on my floor. By the way, just excuse my kitchen because... I mean... But apparently we don't close drawers anymore. Um, yeah, so I've got to pack this away. It's just like basically fruit and veg and we needed some water because I have been having, excuse my washing up in the sink, every day. Again, I spoke about this on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is always linked in my bio. Um, move the tap out of the way. But I'm trying to make sure I take one of these every day. It's just like a vitamin C tablet that you put in with some water so it get the first drink I have is like my water with my vitamin C tablet not the case today because I've not had it yet and I've just had a sip of coffee but it's okay um yes yeah, so I'm just trying to take one of these every day and then I have been taking um a multivitamin but I need to just double check because 
yeah, vegetarian, suitable for vegetarians. Some of them obviously aren't suitable, so I need to just double check. I don't necessarily need to do the vegan one because I'm not entirely vegan, I'm just vegetarian. Um, so yeah, I need to um, look back into what vitamins, now that I'm not breastfeeding or anything like that, I just need to see what vitamins I need to get back onto and I want to get back into a routine of that because I did have like a dispenser that I would take out by set pray to the mic for the week ahead um, and I could obviously just go and get it so yeah yeah just gonna open the blinds up because we've got a bit of a blue sky again today guys and it always makes it is that the moon no that's my light I'm obviously not with it today guys I'm literally half asleep um yes yeah, so we've got some gray some blue sky sorry not gray and a messy kitchen and we do have a little penny pop somewhere can you see a theme here with nothing being shut my children, what have they done? That's better. Yeah, she's in here, so I've currently got these shutters shut. That's why I like these, because I can open them, the top up, and then keep the bottom closed. So she's just finishing her snooze in her car seat. I'm just going to leave her in here today. Sometimes I'll try and move her, but... um. to see for yourself what have you got to see for yourself she's like mummy can you take the camera out of my face it's gonna go dark i need a lamp in my hallway guys like asap i moved it um into my front room so it's really dark out there now but hello from me and penny so it's a lot later now actually oh it is a lot later now isn't it darling um, I have worked out, I've not showered, but it's okay, can't do everything, I literally just have no time. Um, Tom has taken Darcy and Ollie to the skate park and the football pen. Ollie's doing really well with his football at the moment and he's, I'm going to go and put you on his Lego table, just bear with me. Hold on people, there we go, now mummy's arm won't hurt. Yeah, so Ollie's doing really well with his football um, at the moment and he's actually doing like another training session a week with like more of a regional, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but yeah, he's basically offered a spot there. So Tom said obviously an extra hour of football training is never going to do him any harm and he's really excited. This light is making me look really blue. Why is that? Why are you making me look blue? I don't know. Excuse the fact I don't look blue in real life. But Penny's just had a bottle. She's just woke up and she's really happy. Aren't you? Can you show everyone how you talk? She's literally been talking back so much to me. And how cute is this little outfit? It's her Primark one that I showed in my haul. It's like a little fleecy jumper. But look how I'm obviously holding her hands. But look how she's holding herself up. Are you a big girl now? Mummy can't cope with how big you're getting. Mama can't cope with it. Mwah. Oh, you've just got the jubbiest cheeks that I just want to kiss. Mwah. Yeah, so she's just had her, her fourth bottle. I'm still undecided on what I'm going to do for tea, guys. But I will obviously show you as I do it. I think we're going to do the mushroom naan bread thing. Just because it's a rapid one. So it only takes 15 minutes and... I said, Tom, I've had a bit of a, not a fuzzy head, but like a bit of a lingering headache today. Um, and it's definitely not because I haven't drunk enough because I've been so good with my water. But it's not enough that I've taken like any tablets. It's just something that I think like, mmm. Mummy thinks like, mmm. So yeah, I would quite happy just to go to bed right now. So I just want to do an easy tea. Don't I? Yeah, where are you going? You're leaning back for mummy. And I've been meaning to take my decorations down in here so i need to do that but i was what was i gonna say i can't remember what i was gonna say this happens to me all the time i have seriously got like a mental block 
Mummy got a mental block? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Do you want to go in your toy? She loves this new toy that we got her. Um, I got it out of... Hold on. <sighs> no fancy vlogs over here, guys. We just roll around the floor so we get stuff done. Yeah, I got it out of um, her birthday money from me and Tom because we didn't fully get her... Like, I just put some money aside for her because I wasn't sure on what she needed. And I didn't just want to obviously go out and buy stuff just so there was presents here. Because obviously, like I said, at Christmas, she's not got any clue, like, what's going on. But this is so good. So I think it's a newer toy. Um, because I was actually looking for one that seems to have the, like, balance board under it. So I have got a jumper in the loft that was, it was Darcy's. It was your bigger sister's. And then Ollie had it. And then you're going to have it. But she's not quite big enough for the jumper just yet. Hello? <laughs> you gonna get your phone? You wanna go on YouTube? Hello, Penny's vlog. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Can you see that? Um, yeah, she's not quite ready for the big her big jumper yet. So I saw this, but if you can see, let me just grab the camera. So her feet, obviously, she's tall enough to touch the floor. It's from three months. Hello, darling. And it's got so many activities on. Hello. Hello, gorgeous girl. And the seat actually spins around. So if she pushes herself off the floor, she can spin around so she can get to all these activities. So this is her little phone. Um, she's got a little, it's like meant to be a workstation, I think. She's got a little mouse here, some headphones. <gasps> she put this on for you. Mummy's turned it off, hasn't she? So we've got this with this amazing song. That's not annoying at all, is it? And then she can press all these buttons and then she's got a roll of what's meant to be sellotape there. Um, all these little bits here. Her little coffee cup, like mummy's daughter. And then this box of tissues, which she loves pressing all of this. And then you've got your little flip chart and all of these are different textures. So, yeah, really. Oh, you've got your hand on your phone, have you? You've got your hand on your phone, darling. Yeah, she seems to really, really love it when she's in the mood. And she's just had a bottle, so she's super happy. Aren't you, darling? But look, can you see her legs? Look how big you look now. You're such a big girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, you cutie pie. Be alright. Never cut it bite. But somehow you make me change. I'm better off Change me, you got the same old thoughts, be my friend.
put little Miss Penny to bed. She's just had her final bottle, haven't you? You ready for bed now? Yeah, say good night everyone. Hey, good night everyone. Thank you for joining me on my vlog again. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't ever play it in the night is young. It doesn't matter what we do. There ain't nobody like. There ain't nobody like. You look so beautiful. And I'm so lucky to be yours. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how easy was this? I feel like your presentation is great. 